Hello everybody, welcome to Miss Bobby's Home Cooking. Today I am going to be making a delicious red velvet cake. Please watch, like, and subscribe. We're going to get started with our dry ingredients. I am sifting two and a half cups of flour with one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of cocoa, and two teaspoons of salt. Sifting all these together. Okay, I'm going to set my dry ingredients to the side and here we have our wet ingredients and I'm going to start with two sticks of room temperature unsalted butter I'm going to cream the butter together a little bit I'm adding two cups of sugar nice and creamy And I have four room temperature eggs. I'm adding one at a time. I'm gonna scrape down my sides. And we're going to whip this just a little bit more and then I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm going to add my dry ingredients. I'm going to alternate my dry ingredients with one cup of oil. A little more dry ingredients, a little more oil. And so on. And so when the oil is all in the bowl, I'm going to add one cup of buttermilk, room temperature buttermilk that I'm going to alternate with the rest of the dry ingredients. And then I just put in two teaspoons of vinegar. We're going to whip this together, get it all nice and creamy. I scrape down the bowl. And I'm adding in about two teaspoons of red color. And I'm going to scrape down the pan, my bowl. I'm going to scrape down my bowl. And because I want it to be a little more red, a little more vibrant red, I'm going to add in about another teaspoon of red color. The red is beautiful. So I'm going to put some cake to the side and, and, and bake it. It's going to be for my a little bit of decoration I'm putting on top. I'm going to butter my pans very well and I fitted both of them with parchment paper and I brushed a little butter on the top of the paper and then I put in some cocoa just to make sure that it's not going to stick and here we have our beautiful cake batter. You can just look at the color and tell it's going to be a beautiful color cake. And because my oven doesn't heat evenly, I put on cake belts. It really helps to even out the heat in the pan. So here we have our beautiful cakes. The color is really nice. I'm going to let my cakes cool off completely. And while the cakes are cooling off, I am going to be making my frosting and I have one block of cream cheese a half a stick of butter and I am sifting about four and a half to five cups of powdered sugar two teaspoons of vanilla and I'm going to mix it really well together 
And of course, when you're making your frosting, you can make your frosting however you like. I am going to add um, about two tablespoons of cold milk just to get a little more creamier going. Get a little more creamier. And actually, I did add about another half a cup of sh powdered sugar too. And so here it is nice and creamy. We're going to frost our cake. Okay, and so what I also like to do is put a little bit of thin layer on the sides. So when I go back for the second round of icing putting on the sides, it won't have a lot of red bread crumbs, a lot of cake crumbs. And that cake that I put away to the side, well, I'm going to use it to do a little bit of easy decoration. Like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share.